Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to Beyond the Summit number two. Number two. You can see it on the trophy. It's been updated. Trois. Number two. That We've got new people here now. Did I get a back scratch? Oh, hey. We do have more people, James. Quick 30, hit me up here. You want a quick 30, Bartle? Uh, quick 30 what? 30 seconds. 30 yeah, I'll do it. Massager. Why not? Let's get yeah. in there. So, so Sean Gez is afraid of us all abandoning him and leaving him alone. I've heard stories about you guys just getting up and leaving. On so the sofa. <laughs> Apparently I did that to Dan last time. I don't even rem remember. This is quite good. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. that's firm. It's it's firm yet respectable. Like you don't think it's coming and then it does. And you're pleasantly surprised. Oh, when guys, he goes, when he goes down, he goes. Do we need to introduce mm. ourselves? Did we do the proper thing? I'm Jordan Nathan Gilbert, joined here by Sean Garris. Garris. <laughs> don't call me Garris. <laughs> Sean Garris, call you Garris. <laughs> and Robin. Robin had an Swedish. injury yesterday. I did have one. How are you doing, Swedish Robin? Thunder. No, I'm doing uh, it's a lot better. Fifth I think the drugs are kicking in, so. So we're not sure if, if Robin has broken his Who's foot. Who's got oh. yeah. yeah, so we did a... Uh, he really messed up his foot. Yeah. He ran this into the desk. Yeah. Wait, did this is what happens when they, put, when they put the talent to work in terms of like, oh, we got to make a video for the talent. You guys are going to have to move a little bit. We need stunt doubles. Listen. Yeah. For sure. I, I mean, do. I was into that. Me and, me and Trace almost took each other out. That's true. Are they, gonna, they didn't show that part yet. You guys are going to have some fun watching us hurt ourselves later. I'm excited for these videos. Maybe they edited it out so yeah. it's good. I, I don't know if it's I guess I am excited, but it, it's going to be weird. But I like weird. Weird's not bad. <laughs> weird's but not this, bad. Is, this is a new I'm, level of I'm weird for excited. me. It's going to be good. I was almost wearing a crop top. Yeah, I was going to say, there's some sneak peeks if you if you sneak around people's Snapchats. Uh. You can see some uh, unadulterated behind-the-scenes footage. Yeah, someone took screenshots James. from your from your uh, Instagram stories. Did they, did <laughs> of they, me, yeah. Did they, put they sent me there? four screenshots <laughs> in one tweet. <laughs> like, okay. I feel like I missed this. Should check it out. I feel yeah. like James's shirt had a, a little bit of a gap to the pants. Just wasn't long enough. Yeah, there was def oh. definitely some gappage. Well, that there. was the best part is <laughs> when we did the bit up on the street. I just peek over and we're like, uh, we stopped talking for a second. We're waiting for the next shot. People are probably in their own heads, and we're just kind of chilling there thinking. I look over, and everyone's kind of like serious looks on their face. You just see their belly peeking out of one <laughs> their shirt. I'm like, I can't. I can't. I can't take this anymore. It's a little bit too short. Uh, it was brutal. So why are we here, James? Yeah. Uh, we are here for a tournament. There's Counter-Strike to be played. So if you're not familiar with Beyond the Summit, we're in a massive house somewhere in, uh, in California. So all the teams are playing upstairs. They've all got uh, their own room upstairs. So it's kind of like old-school LAN environment, I suppose. Would yeah. you would you say so? Yeah, yeah, I got to play in the one last uh, last April, and uh, it's pretty cool. Like super strict rules here, but also super laid back. Like only players allowed, basically, in your team manager. Uh, there's areas just designated for players. Right in another room, bunch of couches, bean bags. I think last land people were pretty tired because we had just finished a Euro trip or something, and so like you, I think you came in here and they had soccer on the TV. Like half of SK was sleeping, the other one was watching. <laughs> Just super laid back environment. Reminds you of the days. Uh, well, for me, just last year when I was 13, landing with my friends. Yeah. No one I think like all of yesterday, they're all like, they were all like boot camping up there against each other, just scrimming, and then they just come down and chill and chat with us. Yeah. And then they go back up, scrim some more. Yeah. Pretty laid back environment. But this time, there's no PC for me to play. Because last time, <laughs> I was you could see just. Oh, that's out right. You gap. could see your your little head over there. Yeah. Out. And I was just playing matchmaking. You, you, had, a, you had a computer back there. They, yeah, was, they yeah, were playing one v one, but I just commandeered one and just played matchmaking. <laughs> he loves to get the MM in at E League, but anytime he wasn't on a segment, he was just in there. Oh fuck! Peek that with me, <laughs> <laughs> James. What's going on back there? He's like these people in matchmaking North America, man. I just can't handle it. <laughs> and then I, I walk over, actually, though, much to my surprise. Is that actually, that's going to offend you now. He peeks by a mid, cash with an op. Mm. Right when he swings, the guy's crossing, you know, from Z. Yeah. Guy jumps on a white box, flicks, headshot. <laughs> Woo! I just lost it, and I had to walk out. <laughs> Do, I think we have a, we can look at a tournament bracket or something. Yeah, I don't even See, know who's playing in this tournament. Yeah, I think. Uh, I know it's double a limb. We have a, we have a match in 10 minutes. Yes. We do. It's but a torque versus James, SK, right? Yeah, yeah would that be considered a match? What? What do you, what do you like, mean? Like, SK versus Torque. You know, it's like. I don't we know. know what we're getting ourselves into here. Right now, Is right? it you know like the 61 kind of games we're talking about here, to? like the two maps? Well, let's have a quick look at all the games. Yeah. SK versus Talked, North versus Vega Squadron, NIP Team Liquid, Cloud9 Heroic. A lot of interesting uh, matchups here. Talked, uh, sorry, Talked is an interesting one. Um, obviously, they've just picked up Kusta as one of their and players, Steel, which is yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I guess they were GX before, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Days came and went, and uh, Steel was taking his place. And uh, Kusa's on the team. I think Kusa's an interesting one because um, I think in his time with, with CLG, he managed to kind of find his own identity and grow into a really cool player. And uh, I like how aggressive 
he is as a as a sniper now. So I think there's uh, there's interesting things to come. But SK, I don't know if they've ever played Torqued, but uh, with the recent changes. Apparently they've been bootcamping against each other like every day. Like Torqued is the only SK said Torqued was the only team scrimming after the major, and they've been playing like four maps a day. Oh, really? SK actually took a lot of Torqued strats, according to Dead. Look at that. Ah. No, Steel is actually, kind of crazy to think Apparently, Torx beat him in like yeah, three, three or playing four playing out of ten streams. Like, not bad. Dead for like thinks they're like, the top, like a top four team here right now. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> There's awesome. something to be said for unfamiliarity, though, right? Yeah. Because if you're if you play someone all the time and you're used to the, the individuals and what they do, then it, I, c I think it can be easier. Yeah. Than uh, playing against an unknown. That's true. Yeah. That is the the thing that we tend to see though in this matchup is we'll see the torch guys go in and they do that pregame speech. Guys, just play confident. We got this. Be confident. Play aggressive. And then the all of a sudden, hits. and then <laughs> and then, you know. The surgeon that is Coldzera and Fur, they just start dissecting body parts. <laughs> yeah. And I feel like Thorn right now to stop. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I, so it's it's gonna be interesting to see what kind of structure Steel has for the yeah. guys on T side and stuff. Because CT side, obviously, you're like okay, throw Brax and Op, get them in the mix, get the double off going CT, maybe they'll be fine. The one thing that's super dangerous for Torch, I think, is if they fall down like six two, you know, like five one, like anything in that that range, it could just slip out of control. Pretty new team, yeah. not a strong mentality When was yet. the Steel joined this team? Was it like a month ago? Two months yeah, ago? Yeah, it was really recently. Yeah, right. It was really recent. Wait, but did he straight take over from base or was there someone in between? It was somewhere in between, right? Yeah, I think so. Like there, there was like Whitmer in between. Whitmer yeah, and, uh, okay. Yeah. They had Whitmer and Dapper. Yeah. So players. who was calling back uh, before? Before Steel joined? Wh Whitmer. Whitmer. Oh, okay. I think Whitmer I see. Was, yeah. They had two players and they swapped and uh, now uh, Steel's calling again then they got James IRL on the coach. Yeah, it blew my mind yesterday for like I I've seen James on broadcast before. I just did not know that was a James. <laughs> oh, yeah, we were at the <laughs> so bar last night. James is <laughs> doing his normal thing. Wasn't bouncing James around. doing stuff for Cloud9? Yeah, James was the Cloud9 analyst. Low key. Uh, yeah, low yeah, a lot key. of people didn't know that. Yeah, dude, I feel like this guy's been around for so long. I just like had yeah. no idea because it's such a generic, generic nickname as well. James. James. Yeah. Jordan, I played 1.6 with him. Like, yeah. Yeah. Seriously? Years ago. He just like, uh, he's like, he kind of went did this thing that Sean did with the going the school route, yeah. but he just. Fully went into like 100%. Mm -hmm. He went to like Berkeley, did yeah. engineering and stuff. So, but yeah, super smart. James dude. L, he's a cool dude. Oh, that's insane. Awesome. I like. Um, we chill with the coolest bros, James. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> I like the I like the rooms they're in, upstairs as well. We you saw them on the earlier because they're all kind of you can't necessarily oh, look at your James. your teammates' uh, screen as you might. Mm -hmm. Showing on strats on normal land. But, oh, true, because uh, there's a guy directly behind you. It, it does give yeah. a really cool feel though that you're like. Like, what, what you used to practice, like we were talking about, like the old anecdotal stories we all have of chilling and setting up yeah. the land in the, in the boot camp. You can't see your own screens. I'd say that might be the only detriment to this setup is that you don't have the normal row. But it actually does create an interesting pivot opportunity if you really want to look around. Like, if you really think you have time to turn, you normally can look right or left mm -hmm. and see yeah. someone's screen straight on. But uh, It also helps here as well because you can just take off your headset as well because the room are so, rooms are so tiny. So, like, even if you die, you can just take off your headset and sit in the middle if you want. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's pulse. true. Okay. There's also no no potential Jordan Nothing Gilbert lane <laughs> cheats. <laughs> Flash <baby. laughs> Pretty much every three in <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just stare at, the, stare at their back. faces. Yeah, I think every tournament we see a wall go up, and I, there's like a sense of pride every time they create another <laughs> obstacle for people there. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> that's that was funny. so funny, yeah. Do people know? Okay, well, most people know how th that is, but yeah, it's the flashbang trick where you throw a flash, you just and then the face. if the, if you're set up across from the other team on land, traditionally, if they get blind, their their faces just go white. And for a long time, I think people just weren't looking at it. Mm. People say I'm the first one, but I'm pretty sure there's other people recognizing this trick at local lands. Yeah, dude, we stuff. used to do that, that that stuff all the time as Ex well. Cause exactly. You're so easy, yeah. CGS or yeah. something, yeah. All the time. Just like throw a flash, even if like you don't execute, just see like, oh, okay, one person. Especially like Inferno on CT, you just pop a flash over at like 45 seconds and three guys face oh, yeah, the dude, push holes right now, boys. I've actually yeah. never heard of your one though, where you like throw a nade, but you can like hear it through. Yeah, no, we were doing headphones. that. We actually you can only hear loud noises, guys, by the way, like through these. We did it at a big one, which was Cologne, and it didn't maybe help as much. Shroudy was the one who I think might have actually been abusing it on Mirage, because <laughs> what he was doing is he'd pre-molly upper B. Yeah. And if we didn't see like a fast mid control, and we heard the molly on the camera, we're probably like, Watch your B exec. So it actually <laughs> for, it would actually pull our cat player back just because of the, and it was because we were holding down the mic. Yeah. And the mic would just be, you'd hear this it'd, like you'd crumble. You'd pick up like the, like the ambient and the, sounds and, the, the and then bass through the stage. But why would you base it off of there might be people in halls? Because we well, we that's noticed the camera, the camera just like. Sure, but maybe he just expe expected you throwing the nade, no? Yeah, I, so that's like just the like caveat. Third 
No, that it's is the caveat that the we talked about. It's weird third person to no, just, like, follow it. So, but we no recognized reason. a pattern that like eight seventy five percent of the time they were looking at a nade if it was like thrown towards a T. Otherwise, they would just watch someone on oh. T side because they would follow like, the yeah. offense. Shroudy was the one. Shroudy picked that up. We don't want to see maps. We just want to keep talking about this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm praying for Torque that they're maps. not allowing overpass through. I want to see Inferno. Yeah, no overpass. What is it? Cobblestone, Inferno, and Cobblestone, oh, nice. Inferno, Rush. Rush, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm guessing Torque probably picked Inferno. So. Ooh, Torque starting CT side on Inferno. That's cool. That's, um, obviously, if they've been playing SK a lot, then they're going to be familiar with the tricks, but I think that's one map where you see uh, just how aggressive Kusta can be now compared yeah. to how he was before because he'll he'll go down mid with AWP and take some some dirty picks there so hopefully he uh, does that versus no, dude, I I think they need to do a lot of things here <laughs> I I'm expecting Kusa to be down to mid every round you know what I'm saying like getting the entry cuz they're definitely going to need it Well they're starting well, to they're start on Cobble right now I think Torque's right, starting yeah. to Cobble right yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 Well <laughs> dude it's going to be so hard to bust the ASI with fur and fall in there fur is so good did we? Did uh, Torch just play uh, the Mountain Dew uh, yeah. the playoff thing? Yeah. Did they? They didn't do very good, but they weren't playing with Steel. So. Mm. So what maps? I don't think they even won a map. Do we? Do we know what maps they they tend to play? No, they won. I, I looked at their HLTO org earlier, and they played the like a MDL bash the other like day, Mirage. and they won 16-5 on Cash yeah. versus like another team of mm. their caliber. Uh, well, I don't know if they were their caliber, but yeah, in MDL. No, yeah. I don't. We don't know much about their map pool. I think that's a big question mark going into this. Um, one thing I will say, though, I, I always used to like starting T side on land in a match like this, so that could play to uh, Torque's advantage if they can get a little snowball momentum here on the T side. Yeah, and it's just a little bit more forgiving because you can like stick in packs. And get yeah, those, that one shot, exactly. AK headshot. Yep, trade trade ability and maybe catch him on, ca maybe catch him just playing standard, overwhelming with numbers early. So. That's something I got going here. We see little Braxy on the screen. <laughs> Look at that flow. Young Brax hasn't aged. Yeah, seriously. I still remember we were telling the story last night of when I first met him, and it was like I walked into an elevator at uh, the ESC Atlanta, Texas, <laughs> and it was Dalton, his brother, uh, his aunt, and his mom I forgot that. all in the elevator at the same time. And I and I walked in, and I was just, oh, hey, and like introduced myself to like, his whole family. Yeah. And they drove from North Carolina. But interesting. It was cool to Dude, see I, wonder, I might still have like a voicemail on my phone from when Brax's dad or mom called me to see like, sure how he was doing right. at his first <laughs> land. It's awesome. It might be way deep in my voicemail. YouTube We're going to have to find this. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> YouTube content. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> We're going to find this later for the next Hey, guys. Sean here. <laughs> Down here. Wait, no, no. Is this it, Sean? Do I got to get Hey, guys. Uh. Sean here. <laughs> <laughs> With swag in my voicemail. That just tells you that, that Sean keeps evidence. He doesn't wow. delete. Sean's not a deleter. No, no, no. I have a folder. <laughs> He's a hoarder. Yeah. I print it. I print it and keep it in. <laughs> I like have a, to stay like in terms of Sean just simply because of some of the stuff he has on me. <laughs> on his phone. Oh, oh so we're on the internet. Yeah, that's generally how it goes. Oh, okay. And I broadcast. No, it was on the browser. Okay, listen. <laughs> you know what I mean. It's just a rehearsal. <laughs> Fallen here, standing alone. I gave... What um, has happened to his team? I, I finally gave... Uh, the, the shotgun keycap that I got for him months ago. That thing is super sick. Ironically, I, I lost I lost it. I, I left my bag on the train with my laptop, two GoPros, a Nintendo Switch, and all kinds of stuff. But I got it all back somehow, like three weeks later. And it had uh, the little shot, shotgun keycap in there. Which Wait, is how actually, did you manage to get it back? I think they picked it up and put it in Lost and Found and just didn't do anything with it for a few mm -hmm. weeks. So, That's so yeah, it's an actual... like J Fur and JW, obviously, like the shotgun guys, but... Fur, fur is like my my inspiration. Just how mm. you play shotgun on a Mirage or connector. Yeah. So uh, I gave him a shotgun keycap, which is a real shotgun shell on a keycap. So boom, there we go. Boom. Content, James. Should yeah. have he has the dopest keyboards. If you guys haven't checked yeah. it out, I'm gonna make one uh, tomorrow or Saturday. I have keyboard parts coming in the post tomorrow. Sweet. So uh, I'm going YouTube to content. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it together here. And probably solder it outside so it didn't give you all toxic fumes. From you the solder. solder it? Why do you have to solder it? I don't get it. Because it, like everything is just apart, like even the the motherboard, the circuit, right? Yeah. So like oh wow. So it's a, a, a printed, circuit, a printed circuit board, and you get the switches and you thread the switches through. Then you solder them on the back, so you make the permanent connections mm. with flux. So I'm like constructing the whole thing more or less. I made cereal this morning. You what? <laughs> <Just> made cereal. <laughs> 
Actually, I didn't have continental breakfast. I was just trying to show how impressed I was with your <laughs> with your DIY. Dude, yeah, what's dude. the, what's okay. the benefit of doing that? I need to get. I need to get what, what? the keyboards. Yeah, like doing it that. Oh, way. Oh, so okay. Just so the benefit is you you have different switches. So like, if you go to DreamHacks, you can get those clicky switches. Click, yeah. click, 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 click. Uh, if you're not a pleb, then you get normal ones, which don't make so much noise. But also, you can have different springs in them, so you've got different levels of resistance, mm. for example, and it might be a comfort thing as well. So um, if you make your own one, you can choose your own LEDs. So you can have LEDs underneath. It, so it is one, actually really cool, but how much How much on average does it take to it, it costs more. So so I'd say three to $400 on average, including oh. a key set. So like the one I'm making tomorrow has underglow. So it's going to have lights underneath it. Um, but I can also sell the lights on top of it That's in a, in a different color. Yeah, so you can pretty much make a keyboard as you want it down to the T. So it's another 60%. No, I didn't know that that was a thing. Really? Yeah. We should do like a Bardolph Invitational and the winner gets like five custom keyboards. And uh, People keep asking me. Hiko keeps begging me to make a keyboard. Spencer, shut but up. But he, he doesn't want to pay for it. So I'm like, give me $500, I'll make you a keyboard. Ooh, so okay. Days, I think, is the only person I've made a keyboard for. Oh, really? Wow, he paid I'm for jealous. It, yeah. hmm. All right, fine. Spencer, let's commission this guy if you're watching. <laughs> Let's get a couple keyboards. Yeah, where the money at, Spencer? Spence. So we're here live at the action. Taco takes down. St I'm kidding. You guys can't <laughs> see the screen, can you? Oh. So uh, if you guys didn't know, we're sponsored by Monster and Vive and Sennheiser uh -oh. and AOC and uh, Final, Final Mouse. Mouse. <clears throat> I had that memorized. You they know? have some kind you of lights uh, yesterday. Lighter version. So what I wanted to show you here is Ooh. a grip that honeycomb. I've never seen before. It looks a like a yoga mat feels <laughs> like a mouse. <laughs> it's it honeycomb. Like yoga mat. That's not your, what kind of yoga mat you're using. Honey it's poverty, poverty yoga mat. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. If you want the one tap, Scream uses this stuff, right? Well, doesn't he also have so. his own? Or Oh yeah, he has the, his own final mouse. Yeah, right? right? Yeah, he like made it. You see these side buttons, right? Mouse. Do you know which one is mouse four and which one is mouse five? Yeah, the first one. Uh, the front one. Yeah, it's mouse four, right? Mouse four. Yeah. Okay. What do you guys use to talk in game? Caps lock. Uh, caps lock. Uh, mouse in two. Game, I yeah. use Q. Mouse three. Probably. I use caps lock for like team speak and stuff. Okay. And what do you use? Scroll wheel. Scroll wheel. Click it out. Oh, okay. I use left alt to talk in game. Is that different is than your TeamSpeak key? Or um, oh, yeah, yeah. In-game, I use V, technically. Yeah, if I'm yes. using TeamSpeak, I'll disable the one in-game yeah. because I don't normally use Dead Talk. So. Oh, okay. Um, but I have uh, I have the mouse three as R underscore clear decals mm, because clean. some places, like... I find on Dust2, if you are if you go long and you're, fa you're facing that corner where the CTs come from, right, if you, like, take one play right, it's going to be, like, loads of blood on the wall and stuff. Yeah. And it's hard to see sometimes where someone's head is or whatever. So I just quickly click on our underscore oh. clear decals. Do any of you guys have that bound? <laughs> I mean, James I is next it. level. I here. have a like, task, this is though. It changes yeah. it. People, I literally just spam it now. And like DM, yeah. I got that OCD treatment. There's also that weird command where you can see teammates' utility now. Is that illegal? No, so it's not certain illegal. T certain tournaments, it doesn't work at. Like uh, when I was at EPL, it, they had some it. kind of config on the servers where it didn't work. Should I be using that at home? I feel oh. like you should. I, when I watch like Steel, Steel Stream, he uses it. I use it. I yeah, think it's disabled uh, at the major. Steals the gold yeah. standard. <laughs> I think it was disabled at the major and EPL. Yeah, because it's like, it's it can be, it depends on how much level of information you want because it reduces yeah. the need for communication. You don't have to ask your teammates uh, where they are necessarily because yeah. you can go get a rough idea just looking at them through there the wall. Do you think that's good though? I asked the tournament. I can't remember which one. <clears throat> um, Obviously, that's. I I don't think there's a there's a right or wrong, but I prefer yeah. tournaments not to have it because. It, it, it makes m communication more important because if you're an in-game yeah, leader, exactly. like uh, there's a famous clip of, of Sean, right? Where, um, oh, are you talking about the Ronnie clip? Yeah. When, Is this a cash one? Here, get us Yeah. You got 300, grab one. <laughs> yeah. So like communication is important. So that puts, it makes it more important for the team. But I mean, it's very easy for me to look around when I'm playing and see someone's got a flash and just say flash here. I don't have to ask, do you have a flash? It cuts that time down. So there's, there's, there's pros and cons. I don't think there's a right or wrong. This is not good, the, boys. The, we're watching Brax trying to find smoke lineups. The same thing that up. is a pro. <laughs> I looked live this first. I was like, good. whoa. No, we're not. That's live, right? Yeah. What's up? Yeah, they can't see They can't no. see what's going on here. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. But <laughs> it, is, it is worrying that's, for the match. No, but that's what I was talking about, the browser. Yeah, yeah, no, I, preview, I saw that. I saw that. It was just funny. screen, yeah. What's, what, that reminds me. trying to find a smoke lineup. That reminds me, okay, of, uh, there was this one team who came to our office and they were practicing 
and uh, they were practicing a smoke execute. <laughs> there was a certain player, I'm not going to say who it was, who was like, uh, I can't line up any grenades because I changed my resolution. And like, this is in a, in a practice. Wait, he can't what was it? They were they were trying to practice and execute. Yeah. But one of the players was like, I can't throw any of my grenades because I changed my resolution. Oh. Well, this happened well, to be a team that the f two members of this couch were on. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> is, this, is this the Shroudy? Yeah. Is this I Shroudy? I don't know which player It's not Shroud. It's not Shroud. <laughs> but. No, because I used the same I remember. I, I thought it was hysterical. Who was it? Was it me? You call me out. No, it wasn't you. Was, was it, it Jordan? You're no. going to have to call some people out. I can't stop asking. I can't. You're just making it too easy now. But. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wait, which version of the team, though? Because I always use. We well, always we use the same view model, it. right? Yeah. Oh, where we boot camped and face yeah, it? I'll, to tell, be, I'll tell you guys. Corey, I'll tell you guys off camera. I'll tell you guys off camera. Off but, camera, jeez. But, but it had I, to be Corey. I thought it was funny. Corey, right, yeah. I thought it was funny. I'm not saying anything else. <laughs> I said All too right, much. It had to be. I would have thought it would be NIP because they were in the office just boot camping, uh, what, last week? Yeah, but I wasn't there. Well, I wouldn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I would know that actually because you're on vacation. Yeah, I was in Turks and Caicos. That's right. Throwing up in the sea. <laughs> Wait, you're throwing up? I keep I keep doing that these days. Yeah. The boat was chumming really, the, water a little the boat bit was there? like that, so yeah, I was chumming the water. <laughs> <laughs> multiple do you ever, times. Do you ever take like uh, what is it? I think I take something called scope paste or something. I I haven't. What was funny though is they have this they had this rope on the side of the boat right, which goes down 15 feet. So if you're doing a a, a decompression stop, you just stay there and Hold exhale on. your nitrogen. And I threw up on the rope, and they they normally <laughs> like pull it up, <laughs> and the guy was standing behind me when I was thinking, he's like on the rope. Nice. <laughs> and I was just like <laughs> smiling, <to bleh! laughs> just adding some more to it. So this is great, co great content here, James. Yeah, can yeah? we get that sound uh, one more time? <laughs> You're yeah, welcome, yeah. guys. You're uh, welcome. Bleh! I want to get one of these uncrustable things for the Europeans. We need to. Didn't talk you about literally this. say it was your last one yesterday? I'm not going to eat it. I just want to talk about no, it. Yeah. It's weird. Go it grab one. It's weird. It's weird. In the meantime. Jeez, you're just stupid on your son. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I got a little glare hit me all of a sudden for a second, but then someone fixed it. So I just now I'm just in here looking cool. There's James. Uh, we're gonna commentate as he grabs something out of the refrigerator, heads back to the couch. He has it in hand. So uncrustable, ladies and gentlemen. The presentation will begin in three, two. Okay. So there are these things in America, right, called uncrustables. Now, <laughs> this to me is just like, the weirdest thing ever. It's a sandwich. Okay, let's open this up. Want to split it? It's in a packet, for one. It's in a packet. No. This is just. They have to store it somehow. So it's bread. <laughs> it is a disc of bread, <laughs> right? Which has peanut butter and what you call jelly inside. We call it jam. Jam, it's jam, because jelly. Because it's jam. But it's like you can freeze these, right? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a sandwich. Is this? This is not how. This is not how bread is supposed to be. It's hey, like this stapled together. This right. is wrong. <laughs> this is just wrong. It's like, it tastes nice. I'll say that, but... <laughs> oh, but you like it now, James. I don't, talking I like don't a trust space it. Food, like, look at this Look, thing. look, look. But I don't trust <laughs> it because you're supposed to be, go in a kitchen and like make a sandwich. It's like one day I was in a, I was in a, a supermarket, right? And I saw that you could buy in America boiled, peeled eggs yeah. Oh, yeah. in a packet. How is that real life? <laughs> Who does that? How do you make a profit from that? Something is terribly wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's completely jacked up. Like one of those there's is like what, what, two ninety nine. So it's called uncrustables because there's no like crust of the bread, yeah. and it is like stapled. I you don't get bread really in a disc. Admit, they're, Have you seen those like good. how it's made shows? I really want to see the behind the scenes of that one. Yeah. I bet it's probably super satisfying to see like some press, just like compress the jam and peanut butter into like a bread. It is nice, but it's not right. <laughs> You're gonna have to eat something. It now, Something is terribly wrong. They're gonna have to eat it. With this, I'm not eating on camera. Wow, <laughs> never get caught dead doing that. Oh, it smells nice. Eating sugar. Yeah, just I mean, James. We know you're gonna have another one yeah, later. I was gonna today. say, you gonna eat? Get at this? <laughs> James kept saying it was his last one. He ate like five over? of them yesterday. I'm good. Game is live, but paused. You guys are gonna watch me eat a PB and J. I already <laughs> had a continental breakfast. Things might get a little wild here. It has 320 <laughs> calories in it, but there has to be something. Why ASMR. why do you put bread in a freezer? Who does that? Like this is not normal. Preservation. <laughs> Preservation is a problem. Yeah. You're not supposed to preserve this. I still feel like even if you put it, don't put it in a freezer, it probably lasts such a long time. No. Have you seen those? Freezer? Yeah, like, like the good. McDonald's one. The this burger. This is a perfect some, segue for the doomsday prepper people. What are they called? Isn't there like, what, another term for them? <laughs> oh, I know. You're you know, it's talking about the people who have like uh, like four years yeah. worth of food supplies. So just canned food for like in a closet. Uncrustables. To the ceiling. Yeah, just store a bunch of that, you know? 
that's, that's, that's not a bad but idea. But no, then if your freezer goes down, you got to eat all the Uncrustables <laughs> really fast. Power goes out. You're just I guess Sweden, they have that. A week straight. What's that fish thing you have? That it's wartime oh. fish thing that really no, smells. The smells. Yeah. Um, Sue Strumming. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that would be your equivalent. Yeah. What's I'll take I'll take these instead. What's that Swedish call? I think we're live. It's like the what? Oh, shit, yep. we're live. We well, got some kind of smoke. So this is a fast bee here. That's what they were looking at. Uh, that's yep. on the this wall the actually covers fountains. So I know both yeah. of these smokes. Sean, oh, we stole oh. from Sean's team <laughs> back in the day. I just made I just made a Molotov, right, for, the, for smoke executes on B that stops you from planting on the statue or by the wall on the side. All right. We're gonna watch that video after really good, clip. I like this strat though, two fountains. Really so, good. who's our? What are these names? Oh, that was oh. a nice guy by Taco. What is that name? Who is that? Archelogon. Is that fur? No, it's cold. No, it's cold. Okay. That's interesting. I can't pronounce that. If you're the number one player in the world. So is this Polo or Puyo? Puyo. 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 Because chicken in Spanish. Yeah, but in Italian it's, pol it's okay. Polo. Oh wow. And it's also chicken. That was an uh, unfortunate end there, but two people alive is still decent I like enough. the piss around idea, though. They just didn't pinch that guy found quick yeah, enough. Yeah, quick enough, yeah. Okay, so if you go um, the statue, right? If you oh, this is the molly? The statue has an elbow, and um, you can bounce a Molotov off the elbow from... You know when you come out of drop, and there's that like little corner thing on the side of the wall? You can kind of just hide in, Yeah. yeah. right? If you stand there, um, the, the best lineup I could find is with the nail on the model with the wall. That, it's on my Twitter somewhere, but uh, T you can- So you can you can toast as a CT or a T? As a CT, so if the, if the T's try to smoke execute, right? They're trying to play post plant, but if you stop them from planting the bomb- Oh, I see. So you could just kind of double click it over or something? You bounce, uh, it's a left click and it bounces off the elbow, then it goes down and it stops you from planting high on the statue and by the, the tree for the wall as well. The wall yeah. for the tree, you had sorry. Neat, you had some neat ones. For the retake Mirage. Ooh, that's a good kill on this entry. I'm a beast jeweler. Yeah, Torque actually opted this save. Which is, uh... I don't know if that's... SK, let's see what they do with that money, because they obviously just got a lot of money with those Where kills. does, uh... They might grab an op. Boyo come from? Haven't... He is from Northern California, mm. and rank S uh, kind of player. I don't know what... Do you know any team uh. he's been on? I have no idea. So he's from Rank S then? Like I mean he's, he's been just on GX since GX is in Inception. Yeah, I think Dazed, Dazed picked him up since the start mm -hmm. of this project. And then prior to that, um, from what I know, it seems like a good dude. Uh, seems pretty like cool. someone who takes criticism pretty well. He seemed like yeah. a good chill dude. Chills it hangs with the chills press. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. They're doing that G2 buy. No buy. No plan. Well. They still got fallen here in the, in the A halls, and this could be a really good play or a really terrible play. And SK is rotating on a balcony quick, which is really hard to stop here. So, as good as it looks for the GX guys, well, that's actually starting to look good. These flashes are on point. Perfect. I think some of them might be CT though. But yeah, nice they caught the. They, that was perfect scaling actually there by Torque, which is really yeah. impressive. A lot of teams might get caught sitting at the top of the ramp there, but when you get that mid kill, this guy's left a hall, you know they're rotating. If you get stuck on mid ramp, the only option at that point is hopefully someone lurks out B and gives you an alternate option, uh, which didn't even need to happen because the Torque guys rushed those belt, got yeah, the trades. Yeah, they had really good spacing. Yeah. I think Fallen actually put that pretty well. I think he dropped that smoke behind him, right? So if there was a flanker coming through halls, so that protection from the smoke. Yeah, that extra time to yeah. do this, oh, but wow. nice. earlier in the round. Jesus. No, that could have ended no, up really, fallen, really poorly, but the Torx had that one <laughs> uh, Same thing. expo flash as well. <laughs> Say again, Robin? Uh, the Torx had that one expo flash as well to uh, take the bomb side. Yeah. When they hit Over it after the getting the initial uh, entry on the first from the beginning. Yeah, pretty fundamental actually from Torque, which is cool to see. And uh, aside from losing all their guns, that was a pretty solid round. It's interesting though, because Torque lost absolutely everything, it's going to be a, a weird buy for them. And SK might even have a better buy. So this is kind of becomes awkward for Torque, because they lost everybody trying to take Fallen out. Yeah, but I think they should know hopefully that there's not too many. Uh, smokes on SK? Well, actually, there's four. More than I yeah, because they, they saved the whole, uh, they had four SMGs last Worst round. Worst case scenario is uh, they died of Fallen doing something aggressive here, so. Yeah, that's the one weird thing about, you know, saving that second round after no plans and then buying third with Galil Head is if you win a close round, like how it's they just won. pretty much even. The money situation is even, you can get reset. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why it's, like, super dangerous to do that, I think. Yeah. 
But it technically would be the same if you just force buy into pistols. I guess but you'd keep the other team's economy really of, low, so that way if you win around. If you think about it from a yeah. map like Cobble or maybe like Cash or something where an op could do a lot, it could be a decent strategy in those yeah. maps, right? Where you could overwhelm them before they potentially get a double op or something. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, you're right. You should probably play safer. Like once you know you win that round, do you even chase Fallen when you know that you have no money? You probably don't here in that situation, actually. You probably oh, just leave Fallen. Well, there, were, there were three of them, though. Yeah, I mean, sure. But I, I think I you want to take that gamble with Could no they nades. have backpedaled to danger at that point? Maybe. They, they would have survived. I mean, so Fallen was already saving at that point, right? So, like. Yeah, I think if the, I I think if the first house. person runs wide, though, and doesn't stop to duel him, then the second person should kill him regardless. This sure, is tough right, right here, actually. But you have no idea where. I mean, you, you somewhat know where he is. Yeah, like, yeah. Not necessarily where I want to like, interrupt yeah. the guys yeah. to say this is a sensitive situation. This is where a torque could lose the round here. It's really tough to fight this opera if you don't have good flashes. And Fallen's about to maybe put on a clinic. He could Who's got the flashes? Kusta. One ca one's got to play Kusta right now. Oh, there it is. See, Kusta, he could have thrown the flash over the wall, and it would have flashed Fallen. And he, I don't think he has to show. Well, definitely not from, not from where he was. And he was the only person with flashes there. Which makes it super awkward for the remainder of the team. Oh, it's 10 seconds to plant bomb, never mind. It's always fun when you see... Um, this is what Sean was talking about. Yeah, no, I mean, it's double legal now. Yeah, no, 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 in a no, position yeah, where you're like... Spot. Yeah. yeah, it's really bad now, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think um, it's, it's fun when you see, like, in, in this position on the top screen there. Like, when you have two orpids here, and they keep flashing each other off the position. But, uh, yeah, Kusko got, got caught with the grenades. Well, I think hands. the issue there too is normally you see the opera peeking right away, so they actually kind of peeked it poorly, but they didn't see anyone, so they thought they probably got lucky, like, oh, no opera's there, they could exec, and then Fallen just was at a different angle, so that's unfortunate for them, and now they're about to run into. It's the interesting fur they didn't buy. It. No, I was gonna, I was just about to comment on that actually, like the because they're letting SK's economy just get yeah. out of control right now. They have so much money, to, but but they were in a situation as well. It kind of looks like this G2 situation of. We're just completely screwed for the half in terms of money already because we we four spot second round. So like, yeah, you should have probably four spot here. At yeah. least try to get a plant down. Well, see if they can use the numbers game. They need a couple kills. Yeah, SK is close enough to connect already. The door. Here we are. Oh. 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 Oh, Why a good couple kills? Yeah. Two kills with that plays. A little ridiculous. So are they buying here again then? No way, no, double they save. Should, they should be saving here. Yeah. That's why I thought they should have bought yeah. that prior round. Yeah, this, this pretty much works out better for SK. Yeah. Losing that round and getting the double reset. saving T side is like unheard of. Like you, you, you don't you just don't do that anymore. Yeah. So you're buying second round here as well. Ah. Uh, why not? Why not the round before? You know what I mean? Why buy nades and utility here now? Yeah, still spent like a thousand dollars. On his grenades and uh, CZ. It's just so like doing doing damage in two rounds or trying to win one round, I suppose. It's so hard to play against Fur on Cobble because he's constantly just prodding for info like that. Just spotting three people top mid. Yeah, he's so awesome to watch, it's not even funny. He's put the the shotgun keycap on his escape key. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he tweeted me. It's awesome. Well then, it's by time. I guess we'll see Kusa on AWP. Torqued at this point. It's probably going to be happy to get four or five rounds, if anything. Probably won't even, It could potentially snowball even worse right now. They have to win this round. This yeah, particular round, otherwise... Yeah, a couple rounds, they'll be fine. I mean, you're still only looking at, what, one more buy round from SK? Yeah. Torqued ends up winning this They one? could definitely string together some rounds here. But this is also the team that SK is so good at getting the first five rounds on a T side. Like SK will win yeah. the pistol, have a good first gun round plan. So. <laughs> he gets so much info. <laughs> he just peeks mid with an M4. Oh, that's a lot of sound cues. Yeah, that is a little ridiculous. Huh? Yeah. Just like, let me just dry swing. Like, okay, keep 4B for a long time right now, because I just peeked mid and saw nothing. Oh, easy K, don't let it happen. <laughs> did did Ezekiel see him? Yeah, he definitely saw. Yeah, he must have seen him. You can boost um, if you're a, if you're on a T side and you boost on that arch on this side of it, you can see like right at the back of uh, the drop when a CT strafes in. Well, from downstairs, you mean? 
in the little country. Like from, from here, if you boost up here, you can, you can see into... Yeah, yeah, no, 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 it's not like Anders, uh, it's James Bardolf, bitch. Woo! <laughs> 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 That triggers me so much. I was doing those videos long before he was. It's like, oh, it's Anderson Freer. Fuck off. No, it's <laughs> James, <laughs> damn. James Bartle. Yeah, tell us how you really feel here, James. Yeah. Sensitive subject. <laughs> yeah. Boys. Sensitive subject. Let's yeah. back out. I don't, I don't like being called the, the, the X of Y. I'm the Y of Y. Nice setup there. I like the that flash good, just yeah. to give uh, Torque a little credit to post up. Now they got uh, Arca Log on, the number one player in the world here, ready to <laughs> drop a log on to them as they come out. Oh. And Kusta. Not dying to. Or what is he? Losing to the end of the round time today. That was I, nice by Torch. That was a yeah, really nice a play to, to, to do the flash, push him back, yeah. post up with the op, get the kill, and then scale fast, yeah. Any comments, Sean Garys? I just place. thought it was really important that they didn't hit B in the first five seconds of the round because yeah. when Fur Peaks mid and had all that info, if they would have hit B immediately, they'd have been so screwed. Mm -hmm. But they held for a while. Five alive. Fur doubted his early, early info. Thought they could maybe go back to A, and then by that time they were hitting B. Yeah, because that's when you saw, you probably got that call from Fur, could go be going A, that's why you saw yeah. it followed that nano PT. Yeah, yeah. The little that's things. Good. This is why I liked the lineup for this Beyond the Summit, because it's just going to be mad CS nerding, <laughs> which is just <laughs> awesome. Because, like in green rooms, we talk about like everything else, but we don't really talk about the game so much, which is kind of makes me sad, but this is. Uh, yeah, it's just the nature of it. Everyone kind of getting to socialize, and it's like the bad time for it. I was actually saying, people asking me, is audio a little bit there? Dude, I just realized, wait, have we had sound? <laughs> is this the first round? <laughs> it was because it was a replay. I think we hear the replays, right? Oh, wait, did we have sound before? I think we had sound before, but not for the replay. Oh. Yeah, yeah uh, so it's a replay I see, sound. Okay. Yeah. What was I? I don't remember what I was going to say. Something about green rooms? Oh, yeah, that, that's why I liked the concept of when I like at ECS, I got to do the kind of color commentating with with you guys because I actually get a chance to like talk about the game more and shape it and in the green room it's admittedly hard yeah. to like stay engaged in a combo every match, every round about that. You know, you just bound to have something else come up, so it's fun to do this here and have the chance and now I'll stop talking so that they have a chance. No, listen. <laughs> Jordan, you're doing great. You know right. <laughs> <laughs> if it was up to me you would be talking all the time. Okay, all right? let's go, babe. <laughs> so Sean why is uh, why are both teams doing what they're doing right now? Well, who's just do that Molly at the end of the hall? It's really strong to peek behind that. Obviously, you know you can't yeah. you can't really play clo a close angle versus that Molly, and peeking behind as a T is pretty OP. Unfortunately for him, there's a guy playing haystack in addition to the guy he spotted, which now has all the info that yep. hey, there's no one A halls, so they're leaning heavy towards B right now. That's a that's a big fundamental door. point. C9 focused on that a lot before before I lost the team. Something we talked about on cobbles. You can't really fully keep two at A, even though yeah. there still is two at A, unless you have hay control. I mean, that guy's kind of at A in connector, but yeah, he can get at B. He can get there quick. So Five this seconds. could work out for Torque if they can trade fast, but if not, the rotate's going to come in and they're going to be facing Yeah, he's already pushing. Yeah, yeah he's on the flank. This is not looking good for Torque here unless they get a good trade, and now they're spacing it off. They had no nade stuff. Right? They used everything. Yeah. I think it was a four fake initially, right? And just walk out. Oh, almost. See, it's it unfortunate right because m against most teams, mauling the end of a hall, peeking behind it, pushing that one guy back would be enough to keep two guys like dedicated A and allow you to get that like solid. Maybe B one hit more in. deep flash at the end of the hall. But SK has that guy just sitting haystack, and then he late pushes, and you know you're getting stalled out by utility the entire time when you want to go B. It's just they're so good with that. Yeah, and that that uh, and just for you guys watching, I guess the reason that's important is because that little thing literally made the round go to like an 80-20 favor to SK just by them not fully taking hay. Because uh, it gives the guy a fountain sidewalk at B so much comfort. So let's piss around the I don't Fast know if they're B throwing split. a lane smoke though when they do that. Are they throwing a lane smoke? No, I think I, just, I only saw the two far yeah. ones. Maybe so they can pinch Oh, no, there it, is. there it is. Oh, problems. Oh, uh, I thought that was going to be two. I thought he was, yeah, I thought he was going to die actually. He's in a good position to be flashed by his team. Oh. You were oh. right. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> Cold is somehow just always staying alive. Oh, okay. He got kind of lined up now in a two versus two here with one flash left. Hopefully Kusa doesn't over peak right now with... Oh, they have no nades left. Oh, wow. That's, my That's dude fur, man. He's just swinging by himself right there. Oh, that's a nice adjustment from Kusta. 
One on one though. They know he's tagged. Pistol's coming out for Fallen. Saw time left. Did you say a winnable. lot of time left? Yeah. Yeah. Take that 40 first. seconds. Winnable. Fake draft noise. Real drop noise. Oh, oh next nope. level. Oh. Fake. He could have made that same fake noise from Platz. What did you hear, Gabriel? But why would you. Why no, would but you he still has to drop. He has no time to go wrong. Yeah, why would you jump into connector at this point? Because he wants to, like, count for the fake, right? Like, fake dropping. But in reality, but he's dropping here anyway. 10 seconds. Can you do this? Oh, I don't know, you know. I don't think, think he can so. barely make it. I think he can barely make it. Oh, I mean, he's nope, going to be exposed. He's not going to make it. Oh, that's a rip. Oh, what? Fallen. He doesn't think he's got time. Oh, he made it. This is sick. Please win this, Kusta. He's playing this really well, actually, at this point. Did Fallen hit a jump, though? Don't no, think he, he didn't. Did. Oh, Ooh. my God. Oh! oh, wow. Dude, that was one of those rounds as well. Of like, oh, damn. <laughs> Oh my god. He played that really well too, post plant. But that was also just straight luck, right? Because Fallen, I don't think he thought that he would have the time. Yeah, he definitely yeah. hit. Yeah, that's crazy because Fallen didn't check the first angle that he should have checked. So if Kusa was a little wider, yeah. he would have got that kill maybe. Yeah, it looked like Kusa was winning the round and then Fallen was like, just kidding, I'm going to clear that corner. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, Jordan, we saw think, that. Grimy do you think a smoke. force really quick would have been good here for T side? You get down to one v one. You think the force would have done much? It's a, I didn't see what their money was. It's actually not bad. Like I think Rax is four k, but three k as well. Or oh, no, on CT, yeah, I think a force would have been decent. They right bought here. quite a bit. So yeah, it wouldn't have been so bad. Oh, Maybe one more flash here. Three a. Yeah, prob SK probably expecting that eco. Jordan, you saw that previous round there, that, that exec from spawn with the smokes B. Yeah. You saw the CT smoke from front found, that grimy smoke that you just drop on the ground. No, yeah, CT. Stu does that all the time. What do you think about that? You just like that play? Because that's not talked about a lot. I no, don't I really like it because normally if they don't smoke found, it creates a one way on the yeah, left. Yeah. And then if you, you, it keeps an opportunity for you to stay alive and ask that flash yeah. way high. You can stand on the guy. front of the fountain and like one way over that yeah, smoke. Yeah. Like it, that smoke is actually really OP Stu's for CT. going to be mad to, for me saying so that, that. He does it all the time. Yeah. Though. I mean, you see that out of a lot of teams. Like SK just did it. Yeah, you see it out of like C9. I think North does it too sometimes. Is it tactical? Super powerful. And what, what you're seeing teams more now be is comfortable um, staying back behind Fountain and Rock. I think for a while people felt like obligated to like, so, like take, take those, those flat peaks. Like you have to get flat Yeah, peaks you right. have to get those kills. But the T's, if you could just do more damage to them than they do to you, even if you don't get a lot of kills and then the smokes fade and you guys are getting those kills and you're already up in their grill, it's pretty tough actually. You kind of, I remember you set that protocol for our team back on train. I remember you used to harp on us when we had plant like outside on train and you do the wall of smokes. If we don't have control of like th what we call hell or push yeah. up and get a kills, we're probably gonna lose even if it's five yeah, or five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You definitely lose. That. Yeah, certain especially maps, if it's like fast round. Because CTs have all the nates left, right? Yeah. And like smokes fade, you have nothing. They left. just smoke louder. They, they yeah. molly the shit. Yeah, so kind of a similar situation where CTs don't. It's even you even do the same thing inner. Like it doesn't even have to be outside train. Like inner yeah. inner bombs are trained as well. If you don't push uh, like towards towards CT spawn. Yeah, and you have no control. By the time CTs come in, like your chances are you're gonna lose the round. Yeah, you think you think it was good because you're in a five e, but not the the most stellar buy from Torque here, but they got all the nades they need. Because of Brax spot. C set an armory. Five going Couldn't towards B. All nades. They're just like going for plot control for a while. Or look at is that fur peeking a hall right now? Of course, you just <laughs> that I was falling jiggle. It's a quick clear. Fallen's alone a day. Wow. Oops. They're reading this round perfectly. I think it's kind of silly. Uh, you can use Galil hiding as your only plat defender. I guess it doesn't really matter here, but. I think SK were going to go for some kind of take of plat. But I don't know. There was there was a T flash and a CT flash. I'm not sure if they flash themselves this, or. This is where you can kind of see the, the, the torqued not having everything fully fleshed out because I feel like. The better teams you're gonna get if you're gonna float around B halls, you either have like a stack on the box or something established. Yeah, they had like five people around B, but they let Taco just peek in and out. Yeah, it's, it's just weird. Very inefficient. 
Good, they get drop control. Good drop nades. Yeah, that's why I mean it seems kind of like they have some strats built up. But, uh... Well, I think even Steel made a call here for for Kusa this round. Not I like buying off. Rock smokes right there through a drop split. Oh, they could f isolate the... Yeah. Numbers game. Not quite oh. working out, in fact. The rock it's a smokes VPS. through a drop. Yeah, I like the rock, rock smokes through drop split, just because those c guys coming out of drop have everything in front of them. You know, like they don't ever have to look to the right behind them. One thing, because we used to do that strat before, and we'd call it VP that we try to do before, is as the drop guys go, you let them make first contact. But when you throw the plat mall, you throw it deep enough on the stairs that it bleeds to that new cubby. You know the, the yeah, 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 back yeah. wall, and I think that's really powerful because then you're all kind of focused on the fountain area trades. True. Rather than close, because right there that kind of screwed their trades up. That that guy was hiding there. Call zero, 15 and six. Business as usual. Someone, can someone tweet at Beyond the Summit what the Arkeligan is? Arkeligan? I'm probably butchering the name, so help me stop. I'll take that trade. Yeah, this isn't so bad. Though. This is good. What now? A minute 20. Taco's moving up plat, so they've got the info, SK. And he can just contain at some point. Brax, aka Swag, aka M1, with that AWP. Young Swaggin. Bilbo Swaggins. <laughs> aka Brock Pierce, aka Brax Pierce. <laughs> Brock Pierce. Brock Pierce. <laughs> Brock Pierce. <laughs> <laughs> this is a cool angle from Cold. So I guess they're gonna look yeah, close, close really pillow strong. when they when Super they go Super powerful. Away. It's even strong if people come up mid, but he's always not using it for that. Oh yeah, master Oops. of staying alive here. Yeah, Watch him jump call. up and die. Oh, he still gets the kill. I think he didn't mean to put that smoke right there. No, he he missed it a little bit. Oh, you just want him to get all the kills, don't you? And he does, of course. Jesus. Why not? Well, oh, uh, he's what just such a player. What is his picture? It's, they all have Harry Potter or something. <laughs> is that Harry Potter? <laughs> Harry Gold Zera? I think so. I think so. Replay brought to you by Monster Energy here. We only got to see one kill there, but still. Exhilarating. <laughs> Exhilarating. <laughs> Just throw in random. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we thinking here in terms of torque, right? Right now it's adjective. Well, it's hard to tell because this was SK's pick. And you can tell torque. Doesn't really have everything set on this map. I mean, right they now. have the executes, right? But I feel like coming in, leading into the executes, they haven't really done much. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of what I felt when I saw the early plays. Like, if they're lucky, they'll probably get five. Oh, here. this is something that they probably got from SK, by the way. Smoking danger in far side mid, lurking people behind it. I guarantee they have a little bit of anti work right now, based on this alone. All the boys are here. The grenades are out, but the CTs are charging in. This is it. Look away from the door position. Fur is dead. Oh, that's an important kill. But Brax doesn't really know where the other CTs are. Focus Fallen still alive. They might have all the info now, or do they? Cold is down. Fallen is up. Fallen's still we want so good at running around and zoomed in. Yeah. He's, a, he's, a, he's really fun to talk about in that situation because he's one of the, the main orpers who just walks around scoped all the time. But it allows you to talk about the importance of, like, let's say Palace on Mirage as a T. He'll scope in from the beginning of Palace. Yeah. Whereas a lot of casual yeah, players will just go to the edge of Palace and then scope in. And if someone's in shadow, then they know that now there's a sniper in Palace, right? So it's a good, like, a, a good teaching example when we're commentating. Yeah, he's very smart because you don't make any sound, right? So, like... But I wonder if his zoom sense must, must be kind of high. Yeah, his ratio could be higher. Right. That'd be interesting to know. Does anybody know that? Also tweeted Beyond the Summit. I think mine is mine is 0.79, my zoom sensitivity ratio. I think Guardians is... You're such a customizer. I am. But I think Guardians is... is I think his is uh, lower as well. This is pretty sick. So right now, Torx is actually playing off that prior round. They smoked Danger in far side mid. Last time they did that Keep egg like off there. of it. And this time they're leaving like one guy here to lurk. Hopefully they can pull a rotate, which they don't. But they do keep two people dedicated deep into the ASA. 
And ideally, what right before Torqued goes, Brax can do a slight prod, but not overextend, and it might work out. But at this point, if he just stays quiet, he might get a good. Nice. Ouch. This could work out. I think Fallen's speaking mid. Back up now. One minute mark. Still this is just way too slow for me. Like, yeah, they, they missed their timing. Now Brax hopefully gets a kill, and he doesn't. And now, oh, the bait set up. Now the trade is just it's so trade. overwhelming. It's just not gonna be good. This is just way too slow. Yeah, like, so I li they gave that same early look. Yeah. But they let it sit for too long. The SK knew that they couldn't they possibly do the prior round. Pretty much have as long as the smokes. Round. Yeah. <laughs> but even taking drop control there took way too long. They you even smoked it off and even all, but you didn't do yeah. anything with it, hoping that I guess SK would peak. Well, you know what I would actually maybe even like. They're considering what SK has done on plat is the where you set the two guys up outside of the plat with the flashes one over one off the wall, and you yeah. just explode towards the end of what the smokes fading in mid would look like. Yeah. And then Brax tries an easier time getting one there, but maybe the B plat explode and you just f connect your door smoke and rock smoke and just fly out flat. Knowing that there's only three there, I don't know. Or just doing first things. Yeah, yeah geez. Stop <laughs> this right now. <laughs> You'd love to see it. So, likely three rounds into the second half. The pistol obviously is much needed for talks. And SK look very comfortable indeed on cobblestone. Yeah, I think Sean's right here. I mean, what can you really expect, right? SK's pick coming into cobblestone. Were you really expecting Torque to like put up any numbers here? You know, no, but some maybe a cash yeah. or uh, Inferno rather. Their pick. I think they looked really competitive this game, though. Honestly, the, the they had some rounds that they could have definitely won. Yeah, the economy spiraled out of control on them. Like, I mean, that, I mean, it all falls back to like. Do you chase Fallen again, right? Yeah. Losing all four weapons. That's true. And even if you do, do you then end up double saving? Do you not force the round after? Yeah, especially it came down to 1v1. Because Torqued, if you look at it, right? Like, sure, it's been somewhat competitive, but Torqued also hasn't had a lot of after plant, like uh, yeah. a lot of bomb plants. Oh, four left, 30 seconds. I think did Fallen spot second player? I think he heard him about the yeah. Yeah. I'm curious now, I want to know what his zoom sensitivity ratio is. I'm sure the internet knows, James. I'm sure, yeah. The internet can definitely hook you up with that. It's answer. funny, all my, all my uh, config is on my Wikipedia page. I didn't put it on there, someone else did. <laughs> so you always, if you have a computer, you always know where to download your config? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have it, uh, I have a paste bin in my stream chat, so if I'm traveling, and I lose my USB, I can get my config for them show matches. Well, you know what's interesting about this half to me, like Sean just pointed out, is like, it's crazy the difference that a couple things, one, e economic control and like decision making, and then two, timing. Like if Torque improves on those two things, like they look so much better and so much more capable so fast that it just underlines even more the importance of the subtlety of timing in CSGO and, and understanding and the rotations. And Sean's been talking a lot about it on, on his recent YouTube videos. You guys can watch those and get a good understanding because a lot of times, even at a high level like this, what teams are lacking is that cohesiveness with re re reacting to timing. In that case, Torqued on T-side there doing some quick play. But it, it's cool because it's it's also it also can give you hope. What, what do you think he's doing with that CZ? Drop. Drop. Get, drop window. Drop window. No. Oh. Oh. Josh well, it might be a read on, on what he's... Heavy towards a... Yeah, so maybe it was oh a read, but they've gone the wrong way. I think you're always going to drop with the CZ unless you know that they're going to do something in particular. Well, the double A halls would have been nice if the rest of their team didn't die. Very unfortunate. Brax might be in a position to get a couple here, but... For just two Glock to the USP. Yeah, on Kusa. Yeah, like, <laughs> I was like, just like, okay, what do you well then. About that? Yeah, no, no, no. I'm sure Kusa was like, yeah, I have mid, don't worry about it. It's like, well, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> Setup was pretty good there for Torque. They just. Yeah, it was at, so good. They just couldn't, like, normally you would think that Connector guy would jiggle, take a couple shots. No, yeah, and he just, stagger. I mean, Kusa just strafes as well. I, I don't think he could, he, I don't think he shot a single time. <laughs> he, just, oh, he got yeah. wrecked. 
And then the and then the vent guy dies there. You just have no one slowing down the rush there. The A-Hall's guy's the only chance they can do damage is if, if you're staggering the T's coming up mid, then they can get an angle when they cross into the site. 13-3 here, and looks like I'm going to be grabbing some cereal faster than I thought, boys. <laughs> that is a full, full EK. I mean, I did say 16-1, so I was a little, bit, a little bit off there, Jordan. Yeah, you need to really focus up here. <laughs> <laughs> Dead had me convinced, man. Dead said that Torx is taking maps off of them in practice. Hey, listen, we, we haven't seen no, Inferno yet, all right? You know? But that, des that doesn't necessarily, that claim necessarily isn't false either because you know when the pressure's on, the subtlety of yeah. of those differences, like you mentioned, the timing, the economic control, how that can snowball. And then on a map like Cobble, Cobble and Cash is especially is where those kind of effects get even more accentuated. No, yeah, that's what I was saying before the game. If they find themselves down like 6-2, 5-1. Uh, aren't controlling economy. Dude, a young team like Torx, mm -hmm. it's just hard. It's gonna be almost as hard as climbing to the top of that tower in Cobble. I was gonna try to say it's like a <laughs> it's a big hill to climb, but then I was like, let's think. It's just the rapper and me, Robin. I like it. We got more product placement yeah. here on the couch. It's a shame. I don't think we're gonna see SK play a lot of T um, T rounds here, but no? like for example, compared to towards C T side, uh, I'm sure like we were talking about the timing and stuff. This is something SK does just. Great. Yeah, it could have been a great contrast to see. Yeah. But you guys have a chance to hold tournament in the next maps to still see. They, they they tend to put on a clinic on most T sides. And of course now they got Bolts back who has gone for the major and you know, even though they had Phelps at the major, one of the biggest things is that timing is the communication and sometimes the communication subtleties and the differences maybe between how Bolts and Phelps talk could actually go a long way. We talked about how small some of these details snowballed for Torqued, let alone how uh how they can affect just your overall team environment when you play with a new player or something. So it's interesting that people say like CS is a uh, is a confidence game, right? Um, but it's I think what is I think yeah yeah um, I I think one one thing that's overlooked though in that conversation is like when a team does a fake and uh, they're too slow to act on their own fakes when they're pulling players away. It's almost like you want to make doubly sure. But in doing that, you kind of wait too long and, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think that typically happens when like all the players aren't in sync with their goals on a given strat. Mm. It's, it's hard because you need, you know, someone who's doing the fake to understand the timing and someone on the other side of the fake to understand the timing. Yeah, you got to believe, man. you got to believe. And I also feel like double fakes, you normally don't necessarily, like, I feel like a double fake is more of a just on-the-fly call as well. No, just so. a, n a normal fake. Just like I, I see, like, in, like, mid-tier CS, um, yeah, teams struggle with that. People, you know, they'll sell the fake, but then on the other side, there's a lot of walking going on afterwards. They're not really, like, taking the map yeah, control. Yeah, taking, so you're talking about the window of timing. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. With, with the with the timing we saw earlier on. Yes. In that kind of vein. You're right on that, yeah. That's why, that's why I, like, preach so much about rotations, is because when you watch teams like FaZe, SK, Astralis, they never miss those timings, because every player understands the rotations on the map to a T, like, perfectly and that's also brings up another conversation too which is like why tonation can be like important in comms so that like you don't cause somebody to break their fundamental timing like they'll be like okay I, don't, I, I know they faked this last round but then you got your player at maybe the B bomb saying oh my gosh I gotta go and there was just one guy and they were a little scared that they yeah. were gonna die it's B oh sorry man there was a flashback <laughs> <laughs> there's a bug on my screen yeah, so I mean that that might be more of a basic point compared to the level of maybe someone like SK, but uh, for those of you out there trying to well, they're all in clean up the corners. Little yeah, toward double save, losing pistol, complete double save. Brax waiting for the flash to look over the smoke, but there's no flash coming. I thought when Brax subbed in for you guys, he was really good at offing the A side cobble. That was one thing I was like really impressed by when I watched him. <laughs> what just happened there? Kusa just threw his orb and collected it again. Oh yeah, I didn't even see where that kill was. So some some orbs like Oscar, for example, on Mouse Watch, they'll stand on that boulder to look over the smoke and try and fight back. I'm way too scared to do that. I thought I was going to have a look himself. Someone boosted up. Yeah, He's still boosted on the wall. Normally, Fallen actually clears that angle from that boost. Oh, hello. We're in business. That's a really good round by Torque. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, Goose will get an entry B. B plat. But they've got to keep uh, changing their setup talks. SSK getting a lot of information from this round, if not <laughs> kills. But this is what exactly what they needed to do though. It's a shame they started T side first, but like we're I'm expecting Brax and Kusta here like every single round now, just aggressive getting like trying to get an entry. Well, at this point that's all I could do, huh? No. Nice. shot. Kusta's swift, man. It just sucks. He's he really good. He always seems to get a bad rap from his Forgetting to plant the bomb things that he's had, and uh, yeah, I actually think Kusta is insanely good. Yeah, he's yeah, he's yeah, I'm a big fan of Kusta now. I've always been a big fan of Kusta. Uh, I think there was some some overrating before, which wasn't like anything to do with him. Like there was that clip on Inferno, right, ages ago, where he's doing crazy stuff. Yeah, but before he joined, but they, but they were running at him like, you know, I feel like it wasn't the most impressive thing necessarily, but. I think he's definitely grown and, and matured into like who he wants to be now as opposed to before. I think it was just a bit early in his career. See, so that's the flash that we were missing in the first half to take the opera away. Yeah, that's really dangerous to do that peek just exactly how he did for that exact reason. Because when you play good teams, that guy in that corner will tell his teammate to flash over that wall and then take the peek. Kill that guy at the ball. Yeah. yeah, and the only way to stay alive is if you hug that box, but he tried to fall back, which yeah. was not. Oh, nice. that's big. That is big. Uh oh, he's making too much noise. I don't know if he spotted something. Oh, hello. Hello. And there it is. Now it's just down to the chicken. <laughs> I actually have a. Uh, a rooster keycap on my keyboard in the hotel. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even surprised. <laughs> <laughs> How many I keyboards do you own? As well. <laughs> huh? How many keyboards do you own? Uh, too many, man. Too, has too to many. Funny. But right now, I have more key sets than I have bloody keyboards. So I just got my my raindrop key key set, which is kind of like a mix of Cloud Nine and Tempo Storm, like imagery. It's really awesome. So you'll see that on the weekend. Poyo here. Name is Chicken. We had Boyo look at Trying to night. pluck these <laughs> players out of the server. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. It's a shame we missed that. Damn. Ooh. Wow. There it is. Well, uh, can you say about that? A swift that cobblestone. Clinical. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I don't think they actually played too bad. I, I, I think that they're, they're, there's, a, there's a few rounds on their T side, even CT there, like where. I think they should have bought. Yeah. I think that they saved way too many times trying to get uh, as much economy as possible. Or in reality, just helping out SK here in this, in this situation. No, I don't. I don't. I literally don't think they played bad at all. Like yep. that's the thing. I thought they shared a lot of cool looks. Um, they missed a couple timings, like you said, and their economy was a little bit off. And when you play a team like SK, you know, things just spiral out of control. There's a booty pillow in one of those chairs. <laughs> I do see that. That looks kind of cool because sometimes they get like. You know, lard ass sitting on a on a gaming chair for a while. Lard ass. I'm, in lard I'm interested. Is I'm that interested. A lard ass. Lard ass. It is. Yeah. Lard ass. Marcus, are you doing a team talk? Oh yeah, in between maps. Go. I was gonna be like, what? Quick summary. Ten seconds. What did you think of? Uh, what did you think of that? We thought you guys actually didn't play too bad. Yeah, we were actually saying you guys didn't play too bad. Uh, weren't expecting to win it. It's cobble. We had some preparation. Uh, had some kind of idea to play, but our default isn't very nuanced. It's kind of like easy to read telegraphed plays. Uh, so like if you notice like the two gun rounds we won were like explosive A strats. It wasn't off of a default. Like our B kind of like default slow plays are like super like fragmented at the timing. So I think. yeah. But cool. yeah, these last two maps we should uh, have something better for you guys. Cool. Cool. Let's get it. Yeah. That's a fun no, part about the Summit. No, you can definitely tell that, right? Like he was saying as well, even defaults. So you can definitely tell because they didn't get, they didn't do anything on their defaults. Well, that one round, like what they had five at B. Yeah. They weren't really in any kind of like setup to, you know, sometimes you have a boost for drop or someone yeah. on the box with to stop like the molly clear the people that do, you know. So if it's if weird, they did, yeah, they had so many people at B, but they didn't ever retain plat control. Yeah, ST, which is weird. So interesting. So yeah, going into Inferno now, Torqued will be having the the CT side. Yeah. And, ooh, it's a good chance to talk about more sponsors here. We got the rotation. Final mouse, Sean's holding. Where's our card? Where's our sponsor card? Here we go. Uh, all right, all right. Let's let's roll them off. 
Let's roll Should them off. Should we do a freestyle about the sponsor? Go for it. Got a beat. We don't have to beat. Got a beat. Sennheiser is the official audio partner of the Summit. AOC, the official monitor also of the Summit. Let's just rhyme with Summit. Everything. Netgear, Nighthawk. Thanks for the routers. They are really... The only the word summit. I could think of was crude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're at the <laughs> Summit. They are really well, rhymes with Summit? Plummet. Wallace hunt and it. Gromit. You want to say hunt it? What is that? Gromit. Wallace and Gromit. You know Wallace and Gromit? Oh yes, that's uh no I don't, but I know it's like famous. Are they uh You could say you could say like what's the slang for hundred? Like hunt it? Hunt it, hunt it, yeah. Right? Keep it one hunt it, chillin' mm. at the summit. <laughs> About to watch this map, hopefully it doesn't plummet for Torque and their chances. <laughs> hopefully they win, so we have a third map and all of us here can grin. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, cool. Anyways, additional shout outs. Monster <laughs> Vive, WTF skins, and Vulcan Bet. What did I want to play on the Vive? Have you guys? I have, have one in my house. It's funny. Vibe VR chat is the biz. VR Dude, chat. I've seen, that? I've seen that like the streams and VR stuff. Chat? It's VR chat. So weird. You hang out in a world, and it's kind of like you could potentially role play if you wanted, but you choose a character and avatar. Um, so to give you context, I walk into my bedroom. My girlfriend's playing it. She, I look on the screen to see the preview because you can see what they're seeing, and yeah. she's in a bar. Sitting across from her is Donald Trump. Going like this. What? <laughs> <laughs> and then you got then you got Ronald McDonald next to there at like a bar, and then you could teleport, and all of a sudden she was in like a forest. So it's funny because everyone has their avatar, but you have a mic and your headset on, so you can interact and talk with people. Yeah. And then the streamers have like Twitch chat right on it, floating. So it's actually it's pr it's pretty what? funny. Like it's it insane. gets a little bit freaky. It gets a little yeah. weird, but I it was it was it was hilarious. Anyways, they're yelling us. Time to go to break. They need their coffee. We'll see you back here in Ooh, a few minutes. Nice. Good call. Yeah.